Every December, I put together a Spotify playlist of my top 100 favorite songs that were like new to me that year. But making the final cuts is hard, so I usually go 20 to 30 songs over budget. That's why I'm building rankmyplaylist.com. It's a web app that integrates with Spotify to help users rank a single playlist and then share those results as a list to social media or export the list as a new playlist back to Spotify. But since I don't really know what I'm doing, all I have to show for it is this glitchy prototype that is using dummy data. So I figured now would be a good time to check in and share what I've learned so far. For my last project, I first began by drafting a product specification document, which I then gave to bolt.new to build with. But the problem I was experiencing is that the UI would come out different between each new chat with Bolt. So I had to keep updating the spec on which elements um, should and shouldn't appear on a given page. So with this new project, I started by first designing UI wireframes in Figma, and then I uploaded those designs to ChatGPT to help me draft a product spec outline. However, when it came time to build, I gave Bolt my wireframes to work with, and it basically ignored them, opting for its own design instead, which I thought was a little rude. But that's fine because I learned that uh, you can ask Bolt to match the designs later down the road, making change requests like one page at a time. Also, despite Bolt ghosting my wireframes, the design choices the AI did make surfaced useful features I hadn't thought of yet, like an undo button or a comparison countdown counter, uh, so I thought that was cool. The biggest mistake I made during this project is that I was using an AI-drafted product spec that was full of technical jargon that I didn't understand. This is a problem because as I'm building the app, I'm relying on the product spec to be a source of truth for the AI builder to refer back to. So if the technical jargon is wrong, one, I would have no way of knowing, and two, the AI may build a broken app, which I don't want. My theory for a better approach to spec writing is just to strip out as much of the technical jargon as I can and instead focus on expected outcomes and user flows. I've been working on this project for 10 hours, and easily four of those hours have been spent testing and honestly just wrapping my head around how the ranking algorithm should work. Uh, and at the time of this pit stop, I'm using a best of four choice model using Placid Loose, whatever that means. My theory on why this has been so tough for me is that I haven't provided the AI with uh, clear user goals and expectations. Because what's obvious to me is that I want to reduce the number of comparisons a user has to make to get accurate results. However, what's not obvious to the AI is the goal that accurate results should be measured against. For example, should the goal of the ranking model be to first prioritize the accuracy of a user's top 10 songs, or should it first try to accurately rank blocks of 10? And for my own needs, I would much prefer the model prioritize the bottom 25% because those are the songs I need to cut in my own playlists. Ultimately, I'll just have to think harder about how ranking model trade-offs translate to good product, and more specifically, good product for who. Side note, I don't think AI has a lot of experience arranging elements in a diamond shape because it was really pulling teeth for me to get this to work. Uh, so for next steps, I need to finish the app and connect it to my own Spotify for more testing. I'd also like to get a basic understanding of the Spotify API and like that OAuth and really anything related to databases or security. Wish me luck. And if you have any advice, please leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, my name is Austin and I will see you next time.